Danny Wright, pre Plymouth. Danny, how much better is the mood going into this game with a league win under your belts after last week against Crewe? Oh, yeah, much more confident. Because um, it started to look like we were not performing how we knew we could, and it was sort of we needed to get that win uh, so, well, sooner rather than later to, to give that belief back into ourselves that we knew we, we could perform how we could, really. Um, obviously, we need to take that back into this game. Saturday and um, we're hoping we can obviously do that but yeah the belief that we can do it is there now um, rather than obviously the longer the win you go without a win you can sort of start to think well okay, have you lost your powers sort of as, as, as a sort of that's how you feel but um, no it's uh, definitely we know it's there we've got the belief that we know it's there and uh, so look forward to the next couple of days uh, training preparing for the game to um, to uh, yeah get the Get another three points, hopefully. Yeah, and you, you climbed eight places in the table, I think, yeah. with that result. It just shows you how ridiculously tight it is at the moment, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, well, I think it was after two games, no one had a 100% record in the league. Um, so it goes to show that this, a lot of teams are beating everybody. Um, there's not sort of one sort of winning every game at the moment. Um, so it's, uh, while it's compact, though, how it is, it'll be nice for us to get a good run together and and push us towards the top of the table. So um, it'd be a great opportunity for us to take advantage of uh, the, the tight league. Um, and if we keep performing how we know we can, like last Saturday, and we keep producing that sort of performance, then uh, I'm sure we can quickly get ourselves towards the top end of the table. Um, obviously, we need to realise what it was that helped us get that performance Saturday and not not perform how we did sort of the, la the, la the few games before that. Yeah, you got your first win at home. What's it going to take to get the first win away now? Um, much of the same sort of stuff, really. <laughs> like It's our game, home or away. We, we've got our game um, to beat the opposition. Um, and if I feel we can do the same sort of game plan, um, whichever, whichever team we come up against. Um, obviously, you have to alter it. Um, to personnel um, and, and, and each team, but um, that high that team energy and intent, that intent to score goals and to win games and, and to press the opposition. I feel um, we can we can take that away to Plymouth just as as easy as we can at home um, against other teams. So no, we're looking forward to the game definitely, and uh, hopefully we can perform how we know we can and uh, be celebrating on the way home. Obviously, you're working hard and it's the results that count, but how much would a goal just sort of help your cause at the moment? Yeah, obviously, uh, it's eluded me so far this season, so a goal is, um, is a big target of mine to get to tick off the list. Um, but the performance last Saturday was much better from uh, the team and, and myself, and um, that is sort of the main priority is to help the team win matches. Um, and I feel I, I helped that last week. Obviously, I've been disappointed in myself. No one's more disappointed in myself than some of the performances I've, uh, I've had before that. Um, but no, it's, uh, it's like I say, belief from last Saturday is there for it, from, uh, from all of us now. And um, hopefully this week will be the week I get a goal. And uh, hey, don't stop at one, maybe get one or two, or maybe a hat-trick not too far around the corner. But uh, no, it's uh, the performance, like you say, in the team winning is the main priority, but obviously a goal, goals for myself will help that as well. So um, it's something that obviously I need to uh, get to work on pretty quickly. I suppose you know the main thing is not to worry, and that if that chance comes along, that make sure that you're in the right frame of mind just to you know not feel the pressure and just stick it in the back of the net, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, that's a that's quite a big thing. You, the longer you go without a goal, you sort of you can lose that composure a little bit, um, and sort of snatch your chances. I know I don't want Newcastle I was disappointed with because last year maybe I kind of had, had the confidence just to sort of take a couple of touches and, and slow it home. So um, it's important for me to sort of keep that composure as any striker um, and take your chance when they come. Um, we missed a few on Tuesday night which we were disappointed with as a team not to get as more goals than we did so hopefully um, we can learn learn from that and take it into Saturday's game and 
from the goals and the performance and the points uh, that are there for us this, this weekend. Thank you, good luck. Thank you very much. I've just been trying to do the sums in my head. I reckon this is the sixth game of the season coming up and you scored in the sixth game last season. Your first goal, so is it? Is it a six? It, it, yeah. it just goes to show you don't necessarily have to score in the first five to finish your twenty-five goals. In the no, season. you don't. No, <laughs> um, it's yeah. It's, um, sometimes it take a while to bed in, but uh, um, yeah, I'm disappointed. I haven't scored before now. Don't get me wrong, but um, if we get another win Saturday and uh, I get a couple of goals and uh, all the changes, the picture changes so much quickly, doesn't it? In, in, as in football. Um, so yeah, there's a, we're looking forward to a good performance from the lads um, and myself. Um, and, uh, if we can get that, and we can get that week in, week out, then goals and point, points and that follow um, pretty quickly. So uh, if we get our performances and we get our game going how we know we can, then everything else from that um, comes with it. So uh, it's. That's the more, most important thing, um, and like you say, yeah. Hopefully, this uh, must, might be a something in it with the sixth yeah. game of the season, kickstarts my my career, uh, not career, my uh, my league sort of uh, appearances and, and goals. So um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the weekend, no matter what, and hopefully, obviously, there is the goal there. Only first goals were in Devon last year as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm loading the pressure on you now, don't uh, I? No, yeah. it's, written, it's already written, isn't it? No <laughs> pressure, so I just turn up. <laughs> what was, was Plymouth one of those places and those grounds and teams, because it's a, a big old-fashioned ground, you know, going to be a big crowd there. Is that, that, that the kind of game that you, you look forward to? Yeah, definitely. Um, you, you, as a player playing in the, the pressure of football, you look forward to the big games. Um, and uh, it'll be a great atmosphere, I'm sure, down, down in Plymouth. Obviously, they won't all be um, behind us, um, even though the Cheltenham fans have been absolutely fantastic the last couple of weeks with the traffic <laughs> they've had to do, and, and even in the home games, the, the noise they've been making. Um, I'm sure they'll be giving us a good support this Saturday, um, uh, which has been brilliant from them, so credit to them. Um, but yeah, it'll be a good atmosphere this weekend, and uh, we can use that as a... You can get yourselves up for the for a game like that, and uh, hopefully, it helps you get the performance out that you need to 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 produce our game. So yeah, it's uh, you do look forward to the, this sort of game, and um, like you say, it's you you got to perform on the big stage, and hopefully we can do that. You, you mentioned your work rate last week. How impressed were you with Billy's? Yeah, running? he was he was yeah. everywhere, wasn't he? Yeah. I've, um, Quite, not quite sure how we didn't get man of the match, I'll be honest. Um, you got mine. <laughs> yeah, I think it got everyone's <laughs> apart from the person who picks it. Um, no disrespect to Pelly, of course, he, done, he had a good game as well. But uh, yeah, Billy was outstanding. Um, his work rate was tremendous. And when you're playing up front with someone playing like that, it sort of makes your job a little easier, I guess. But um, he was, yeah, he was outstanding. Uh, I guess he had a point to prove um, against Crew. Um, so, yeah, it's have you, you, can, have you noticed a physical change in him? He seems to have a, a bit more power and a bit more pace about him yeah. this this season. I have. Uh, the missus actually said to me, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh, and Billy come back? He looks like a man this year." Yeah. And that means nothing because the missus knows nothing about football. <laughs> but he he does, and he <laughs> he does like he is a he is a man this year. I feel. Mm. He, um, it was moments last year when he obviously he produces performances equal as that um, but this year he does he has he does a determination and a sort of a, an aggression about him which um, he, he needs as a, as a player as a as everyone does um, and yeah he looks he looks he's definitely performing um, well for us and uh, hopefully long may, long may that continue as a, he can be a big player when he's on that sort of form for us yeah definitely awesome thank you cheers Dan cheers